All right, so now that you've identified your strengths and your weaknesses and what you feel that you enjoy doing, then you want to be able to, and then and you probably saw some things in there. What are some values that you really stand for that you, you know, if it's morality, if it's, you know, uh, driving after something, if it's more of a pioneer, like you, you like, you're more of an exploratory person. You like to work on something that's new and vibrant. Then you start really identifying those values and you can then pull that backwards into a couple things. One, you can set goals. And number two is that you can create a vision statement or a mission statement or like a purpose statement. And I don't think that your purpose though has to bleed into every single aspect of your life. Although as you start getting to know yourself much better about what you enjoy doing, you'll find that your talents and time is best spent where you really enjoy doing those different things. And just because you love you know, certain aspects doesn't mean it's still gonna be work. Work is still required. The question is, do you love that work? And I think for a lot of people, they don't necessarily love the work and they don't necessarily love working either. And so I think you need to be able to figure out how can you enjoy work to a point that it's at least tolerable. And then eventually you might find, be able to find a role or a position or a company where you actually enjoy coming into the office. You enjoy the people that you associate with. And even though it is work and even though it is somewhat stressful, you still feel a value and you still feel invigorated by what you're doing. So when it comes to um, creating a of your why, of your purpose, of your mission statement. You want to avoid getting hard into specifics because it really should be a guide of what you what what really holds you together from a professional perspective and potentially personally. So for example, my why is to leave a legacy by positively impacting people. And that theme can go to personal and to professional. And as I look at different roles, that's typically why I gravitate towards more leading, developing, training kind of roles because that's who I am. If I kind of walk backwards though, start at the strengths kind of where we started at, um, I, and I'm taking these from Clifton Strengths or Discover Your Strengths, um, Includer, Activator, Win Others Over, Positivity, Strategic. Those are my core strengths. And so if you look at the things that I really enjoy doing, I love public speaking, I love talking to people, I love talking to strangers, love networking, love getting to know people, really enjoy having strategic conversations with people, employees, business owners, about if they're employees, where they wanna take their career, where they're, what they're trying to do to professionally get better, if they're business owners, where they wanna take their business, I really enjoy those conversations. And so then, where does that then take me? I'm, I'm definitely someone that totally embraces change. I love inc including people in that team capacity. Typically though, I like to be more in that leadership role. And then so as I look at the why, leaving leaving an impact of positivity that's really because it it sits at home with who i am i'm including others in this positive mindset at the same time i'm trying to be strategic at how they can get theirs because just because that's my why and that's my purpose doesn't mean it's the same for everybody else and so for you as you think about how you can make this overarching theme of what you want in your life you can start identifying what kind of character do you want to become? It's not about the attaining of things or positions or titles. It's about creating the individual you want to see in yourself. Now, let's have another conversation about goals. Sherm's out.